Now, today's top stories and Power of Five weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hi, everybody. Let's take a look at today's top stories. The reward for information that leads to an arrest and the beating death of an Akron teen has grown substantially. Summit County Crime Stopper says several anonymous private donors are now offering an additional $25,000 for information on Ethan Liming's murder. That's on top of the $5,000 Crime Stoppers initially put up. That brings the total to $30,000 for that reward. Liming was killed in a fight outside the I Promise School last week. Police say it started when a group of teens fired a toy gun in the direction of another group of young people and they went after them. Akron-based Sterling Jewelers, the multi-billion dollar parent company of several major jewelry store chains, has reached a settlement in a massive lawsuit over allegations of discrimination and sexual harassment. 68,000 current and former Sterling employees joined that class action suit. It claimed that women were discriminated against both in compensation and promotions. It even claimed promotions were traded for sexual favors. Sterling brands include K Jewelers, Jared, Zales, company denied any wrongdoing in this $175 million deal. $125 million of that will be split among the employees who sued. The 4th of July is approaching very quickly, and the fireworks industry in Ohio is adapting to accommodate a new influx of customers. Ohio residents are now allowed to set off fireworks around certain holidays, which just became legal in the last year. Fireworks sellers are trying to drive up business amid the rule change, with some like American Fireworks in Hudson catching eyes with an upside down billboard. What we're seeing is new customers finally coming in, right? That were a little bit hesitant to shoot in the past because they were by by the law, right? They weren't leaving the state. So we're gonna see a new market of new customers coming in. Sellers are expecting an increase in customers this year with the rule change, but many municipalities like Cleveland are imposing their own regulations to prohibit fireworks during the holidays. National Weather Service now confirming it was an EF2 tornado that uh, hit Tip City in southwestern Ohio last night, tore apart that uh, Meyer distribution center. Mark Johnson saw the damage, saw the video of the twister, and he called it last night. Mark, what, what else is happening? Well, luckily, no severe weather for the overnight hours. In fact, most of us are going to stay dry. We'll go 54 degrees. Could be a stray rain shower up in Lake and Ashtabula counties tonight. Everywhere else should be dry. Lower and middle 50s, a little chilly, all right? 76 on Friday, a cloud sun mix. Any rain should arrive late, late toward evening, all right? And then there'll be some scattered showers Friday night into Saturday morning. 74 on Saturday, 77 Sunday. Could be a couple of afternoon thunder showers. And then look by Wednesday, 92. That's hot. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.